so it was a few years ago and I was waking up every day like very alert <laughs> and drenched in sweat and you know shortness of short of breath and very very hot very warm and um it would like happen and then it would like calm down and then I would get on with my day and it would happen every day. And then my partner, who's now my husband, would say to me like, I don't think it's normal what's happening. And I was like, well, like it kind of is fine because, you know, later in the day, everything goes back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't really know what anxiety was. Like, as we mentioned in our chat before, to me, I'd like just read these like super extreme cases. So the fact that I was able to get up and get around and do my work yeah. like didn't tie into what I'd known about it but a friend actually said to me listen it's panic attacks it's anxiety and so I started doing what everyone does that we know we shouldn't do which is go to Dr Google <laughs> and yeah. look into like what is right yeah, yeah. Like, what that is helps. anxiety like okay this is yeah um but what I got back and we spoke about this was a lot of like misinformation and confused information on what anxiety is a feeling of worry and overwhelm and I was like what does that mean like is it a <laughs> feeling of feelings how yeah. do I know when I'm worried yeah. or when I'm anxious not helpful um and another web and the other statistic that I gave you which was um one in five american adults will suffer from an anxiety disorder and i was like hmm it sounds like a trend not a disorder let me yeah. like look into why why it would exist so that was my story in terms of like how i started um getting into it a lot of misinformation and miseducation and then panic attacks then dr google yeah. and then learning how to really manage it myself 